just Bob Anthony with your precision forecast. And here's another live shot of our super moon, our flower moon, also called the milk or hair moon. And it peaked out just a few minutes ago at 936 Mountain Time. Let's take a look at our graphic. And uh, this is the brightest and largest you'll see this moon all through the year 2012. Well, happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. It is the 5th of May, but it's also another date of note. We're right between the vernal equinox and the summer solstice. That's the first day of summer. So uh, here we are. We have the uh, calendar dates around the axis there, and we're at May 5th. Again, between the vernal equinox and the summer solstice, the first day of summer. And we also have clearing skies out there. That's why we can see that super moon. Because of those clearing skies, that will help us get uh, kind of chilly tomorrow morning. And because of that, we have a freeze warning in effect for the valley locations. Of course, the mountains, they're uh, well below freezing this time of the year. But here in the valley locations, our average last freeze date in Boise is right around May 10th. So that's why we have this freeze warning in effect. It's time to uh, bring in or cover up those temperature sensitive plants because you might lose them by tomorrow morning. Here's our current readings outside. We have mostly clear skies, 46 degrees. Winds are fairly light at just six miles per hour. And our high temperature today, uh, it was only 55 degrees. Normal is 68, so quite a bit below normal. The overnight low also a bit below with this cooler air mass that moved in with that uh, low pressure trough, but high pressure is starting to build up and that will give us a nice little warming trend over the next few days. Our sunset this evening was at 854. Here's some low temperatures from this morning. Some of these will be colder and a few locations are pretty close or right at the freezing mark or just a bit below like Mountain Home. They were at 31. Of course, our mountain locations were in the 20s, most of them. Mid uh, <laughs> 50s to upper 50s here in the valley. As far as our satellite map goes, the clouds and the Unsettled weather is pushed off to the east as high pressure builds in, and this will give us a nice little warming trend Sunday through Monday. And it looks pretty nice all the way through early next week as we head into a nice warming trend, temperature increasing just a few degrees each and every day. Also a little bit breezy tomorrow afternoon, otherwise a sunny day after a chilly start to the day will warm up nicely. For the mountain locations, downright chilly. They'll be in the 20s most locations. Might even see some areas of uh, patchy morning fog. Once that burns off and once we warm up, it will be a really nice day with nothing but sunshine. Chilly again for the Sun Valley area. Again, overnight lows into the 20s. Daytime highs in the mid to upper 50s with lots of sunshine. For the Magic Valley, a little bit breezy in the afternoon, but a nice day with nothing but sunshine. Twin Falls High 61. Here's our extended forecast. And Sunday looking really nice. Again, a little bit breezy in the afternoon, but a nice day to go for a bike ride on the, on the green belt or up in the foothills. And then uh, temperature warming up a few degrees each and every day, 70 on Monday. Then we're talking some upper 70s, close to 80 degrees on Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when we peak out and we have another weather system moving in. A cold front obviously dropping our temperature from 79 to 67 on Thursday. And at this point in time, it looks like uh, at least the start of next weekend is looking pretty good. Anything from mostly sunny to partly cloudy. You gotta like that. Yeah. All right, thanks, Bob.